Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, January the 22nd, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, some good ones here. Again, we got some more uh, rinse and repeat. <laughs> and a uh, different one here. So I did re-roll, complete a mutated event, and kill mutated enemies, and I got this one here instead. And I got this epic down here, which is, uh, I haven't seen this one here in a while, so that'd be pretty cool. I'm a little late with my video today because I'm back to work. Uh, 12 hour shift, and it'll be today and uh, tomorrow will be the same, so the I'll be still making the videos just a little bit later than my usual. So many videos on my channel that'll help you guys out, give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, or even an experienced player, it's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure I'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can, because as we know with every update, every something always changes in the game. And of course, you guys are awesome. You guys help me out with that with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, so once again, we get these two big bad boys here. <laughs> I was going to reroll these guys as well. But I thought, you know what, we're just going to leave them just in case if uh, someone is new to the game and someone is, is new to my channel. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go through these guys here. And of course, I'm going to have everything timestamped to uh, help everyone out. So let's go ahead. We're going to craft an alcoholic beverage one. And the alcoholic beverage we're going to craft is called a fermentable beer. So let's go inside the house here. And I'll show you what we're going to need for ingredients. Let's go to our brewing station. Let's go to craft. Okay. So we have beers. And I find the fermentable beer the easiest. Because all you need is boiled water, corn, razor grain, and wood. Alright, so I usually pick these guys here. Now we've been going after these all week. So hopefully we'll be able to find some corn and razor grain. If not, then we're going to have to uh, wing it. But uh, for one fermentable beer, two corn, one razor uh, sorry, two boiled water, one card, two razor grain, and two wood. And I'm going to show you where we can find this stuff. We're going to be making three of them. That way there we can kind of ferment them. Put them in the fermenter for the next uh, daily challenge. All right. So let's start off up here. Cobbleton Farm. We'll be going up here first. We'll be getting these this past week. Uh, we got them the first day, so I'm hoping they have repopulated. This is Grefton's mayor. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the map here. We were going to toggle that guy off. There we go. He's going to keep talking, though. So we're here at Cobbleton Farm. And we are going for some corn and razor grain. Now you do got to be careful. There will be ghouls up here, so keep that in mind. They're fairly easy, though, even for a, uh, a newer player. Not too sure if the corn... He's going to come back in or not, but we'll see what happens. Oh, geez, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Doesn't look like the corn is, uh... Oh, canned dog food. Hot dog. It looks like we're out of luck with the corn. We are... SOL. <laughs> uh, same thing with the razor grain that hasn't really replenished itself yet, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, one of the go-to places I usually go... Other than Cobbleton Farms down here in Silva Homestead and Billings uh, Homestead. Uh, but let's go somewhere else. Uh, we will go here to Morgantown and where we will fast travel is Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Let's pop down here. Just around the corner should be some corn and razor grain patches down there. If we get there at some point. <laughs> Erp. Here we go. So this is my last resort. If uh, I can't find any razor grain or corn, Cobbleton Farm. Or Silva Billings Homestead. It's usually right there. So we're here in Morgantown, just down the road from the tattoo parlor. We're going to head down here. And then there'll be like a little overpass. Yeah, take care of these ghouls here, which shouldn't be a problem. Get their uh, cousins coming there. Hey, what's going on? See what these guys got on them. Oh, that. Grab that. 
Oh, right on. Grab this cat down here as well. Okay. Uh, so here's the little overpass. There's a, like a little mini farm uh, down here. And this is where we're going to go. There'll be some razor grain here and some corn. Not near as much as the other places that I normally show you. But uh, nonetheless, there'll be some here. As well as some other crops. But the only thing is, is they're kind of spread out a little bit more. There's some corn here. So you really, you really got to keep your eyes open because they're not as, uh, you know, neatly defined or just kind of scattered about. Corn. And the same thing with the razor grains. You can see the razor grains just kind of scattered about. Now, if you're legitimately looking to harvest vegetables, especially if you're a herbivore, there is a perk card for that. I always like to kind of mention it a perception. And that perk card is down here. It's called Green Thumb. Reap twice as much when harvesting flora. Great one to have in your back pocket, especially if you are a herbivore. But even if you're a carnivore like myself, it's still good to have in your back pocket. Just in case, right? We are going to need a little bit more razor grain uh, than corn. We're going to need at least two more razor grain for each corn that we get. So we may have to go to another camp. I'm not too sure if I'm going to have enough here. All right here, Jim. Grab it, Jim. Thanks, bud. And right here, nice. As you can see, it's kind of scattered. We really got to <laughs> check the area out. Some other cool plants up here, too. There should be enough corn anyway. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, seven corn, nine razor grain. So three, six, nine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we'll have, we just barely have enough. We just barely have enough. So let's go ahead. We're going to hit, hit back to my camp. But as I said, this spot here is not the best. It's my, my literally my, my last resort. <laughs> and we've been going after this stuff all week. Let's go ahead. We're going to go. To our brewing station, we're going to craft fermentable beer. Craft an alcoholic beverage. So beers, fermentable beer. Uh, we are going to need some boiled water, I think. Yeah. Back out. We just need some boiled water. So let's get some uh, dirty water here from the good old fountain. Let's just spam the old collection button. So uh, two dirty water to make, to make one boiled water. Okay, that should be enough. I highly recommend getting a fountain of some sort in your camp. That way there, if you're not close to a water source, you can do that. All drinks, boiled water. Perfect. Back out. Nice job, Jim. Head back down here to the good old uh, brewing station. Beers, fermentable beer, three of them. Perfect. All we needed to do is craft just one for this particular daily challenge, but... Uh, we crafted three because we're going to have to put three of them in the fermenter for the next one. Back out. So that leads me to the next challenge. Ferment an alcoholic beverage three. So we are going to ferment the beer that we just made. Okay. We're going to need a fermenter. So here's our fermenter right here. Uh, we are going to have to take some of the beer out. Because it's full. As you can see, ten over ten. Let's take the three beer out. So here's the fermentable beer on this side under my food and drink. It has the yellow condition bar. We are going to assign this to the fermenter. So you'll see it pop over to the fermenter side on the right hand side. There we go. Okay. So now we have the fermentable beer we just crafted. It has the yellow condition bar. 15, 20 minutes of real life time. This fermentable beer will become a beer just like this. So this yellow bar will go down. And when it becomes a beer, it'll be a black bar with a line through it. And that will be your fermenting process of fermenting a beer. Okay? So while that's doing that, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. All you have to do is wait. Again, 15, 20 minutes of real life time. That's the only thing. But that's not too long. Because that, that way there, if you do this at the beginning, you'll be able to finish off and uh, complete your dailies. Hey, look at that. We have razor grain and corn in our uh, camp. So this is what I always recommend to people when you're not looking for this stuff just kind of grab a few here and there plant this stuff in your camp uh, i'm still going to show you places where to go because there's enough new people that show my uh, watch my videos right there's enough new people to the game that i'm still going to show you where to go but this is why i recommend 
uh, for your folks, so that way there you don't have to go looking for it. Okay, now that we beat that to death, what's next, Jim? <laughs> oh, and before I get going, if you remember my episode daily challenge video that we made yesterday, January the 21st, we lost our Nuka, cool, Nuka, Nukatron here. He uh, disappeared. He fast traveled with us as a companion to the uh, Automaker Cabins, and uh, I loaded back in today, and uh, he's back. He's back at his home. So that's good news. I just want to show you guys that. You guys probably noticed that already, but I just wanted to make a mention. <laughs> okay, so let's do some stuff here in our camp. Let's go ahead, scrap junk to produce glass 10. So glass, again, very abundant in the wasteland. You can find glass bottles everywhere, okay? One good spot down here, Somerville Docks, okay? All kinds of glass, there's like a shop, shopping cart full of them. Um, kill box upstairs, there's all kinds of glass around, glass bottles there as well. If you're looking for the fastest, quickest, easiest way, you're running out of time, just go to your Tinker's Workbench. You can bulk glass. Let's go ahead and go craft. Go down here to bulk. Go down here to bulk glass. It allows you to have 15 glass shards and two plastic in your stash or scrap box. This method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Scrap. Let's scrap the bulk glass we just crafted. Done. Scrap drunk to produce glass 10 for 10. Easy. Just like that, guys. But nothing's stopping you from going in the wasteland and finding bottles and scrapping it either, okay? I'm just showing you the fastest way to get the stuff done. What's next? We can do one more in our camp here. Build a floor, wall decoration, and a workshop or camp. So any old workshop, anywheres on the map, you can go ahead and claim that. Build some floor, wall decorations. But seeing how we're at our camp, we might as well just do it at our camp, right? That way there, we'll go to waste. So find a little opened up area. I highly recommend doing this stuff uh, outside of your home. That way they don't uh, accidentally delete it, which I've done a couple times in the past. So floor wall decorations. Let's go down here to floor wall. There's four decorations here. So I always recommend building something that doesn't cost a lot of resources. So I'm talking about mats and rugs most time. Mats and rugs only cost like, you know, cloth and rubber. And cloth and rubber is stuff that, you know, people have a lot of and they don't even realize it. Okay, so let's build some of these rugs here. Three cloth each. Now you can go ahead when you after you build the stuff. You can build whatever you want. But if you're not looking to keep it, you might as well just build something that's the same. It doesn't cost a lot of resources. You can keep what you build if you like. Or you can scrap it, whatever you like to do. I almost took out my uh, floor there. You saw. <laughs> See how easy it could happen? It could happen to me. It could happen to anyone. What's next? <laughs> what is next, Jim? Oh, this one here. Build light sources in a workshop or camp. Three. Perfect. So same deal. Claim any old workshop on the map, whatever, wherever you're at. Or you could just build some light sources at your camp. You might just do it at your camp, right? That way there, if you decide to keep it, you're good to go, right? Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to go to our build menu again. Let's go to lights, which is this way, I believe. Right here, yeah. So light sources, right? Let's build this uh, little oil lamp here. Here we go. Let's uh, build this uh, common yellow table lamp. There we go, Jim. Let's build this. Uh, hey, let's build this campfire. Everyone has a campfire. Done. <laughs> and you can build three campfires if you like. You can th build three of the same if you like. Whatever you want to do. Doesn't need to have power for it to count either. Okay, as you just saw there, it was in the red. Okay. What's next, Jim? Um. Let's go ahead. We're going to uh, do these two here. But before we go, um, yeah, you know what? We'll do this one here first. We'll do epic. Kill a Mylurk with a blunt weapon 15. So let's go ahead. We'll go to our weapons workbench. Take a look at some blunt weapons. Go craft. Okay, so blunt melee weapons, baseball, bat, board. Just give you some examples, okay? Uh, one thing I have learned for this particular type of daily where it says blunt. If you put a mod, let's say uh, a spiked mod on this baseball bat, it no longer becomes blunt. It becomes a sharp, <laughs> a sharp object, okay? As, you know, it makes sense. So people have told me in the past that with those mods, they don't work. 
Okay, it's got to be a just a basic blunt weapon. Okay, uh, baseball bat you can find everywhere. Is boards uh, good source of boards or super mutants? Okay, uh, golfer smackers are around quite a bit. Lead pipes you can find these every anywhere. Okay, um, yeah, you can go ahead and craft one if you like. I know myself. I usually keep one in the old stash box. Let's go ahead down here to weapons. See what I got here. Or a blunt weapon. I know I have one here somewhere. So there's a rolling pin there. Okay. That's a blunt weapon. Uh, let's use uh, this bad boy at the end here. This guy here. Whacker Smacker. We have this Whacker Smacker. You can get this. Um, I believe it's from one of the events down in Nuka World on tour. Very popular. Just by completing the event you'll get this bad boy. Let's go ahead and grab him. And uh, we're not going to change our uh, perk cards around. We're still a Rifleman Bills, but we'll equip it. There we go. It's going to be a good time. And we're going to take care of some uh, good old Mylurks. The Blunt Weapon 15. Okay, so let's go to a spot. Uh, we'll start up here. Uh, pretty good spot. Toxic Dried Lake Bed. Let's go over there. That's usually good for about five or six uh, Mylurks anyway. And they're usually glowing. So, I'm going to try this out while you guys are here, okay? There's a method to my madness, okay? <laughs> so, the last time we tried to kill a glowing creature, okay? We came up here. If you guys, it was probably about a, maybe about a month and a half ago. For those of you who watch every day know what I'm talking about. I came up here. And killed a glowing Mylurk, and it did not count towards the daily kill a glowing creature for whatever reason. It used to before, but it didn't during that video. And there's a couple of you that commented, it happened to you guys as well. But we're here to kill Mylurk with a blunt weapon, and we will see if it works today <laughs> for glowing creature, okay? Because these guys are creatures. These guys are in a realm of their own. <laughs> <laughs> and they're passive. And, uh... Er, come on, baby, come on! Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he... Oh, boys. Yeah, I'm not a melee player, as you guys can tell. Oh, my lord, Jim. This is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna wear them down. <laughs> see that? Did you see? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh, Jim. Jim. You're getting a little too trigger happy there, buddy boy. <laughs> wow, that's quite the uh, reach you got there, bud. Oh, the Mr. Claw there. Oh, let's go. Get him, get him, get him. There we go, get him, get him. There we go. Kill a Mylurk with a blunt weapon. So this is what you can do. Just to, and they're transporters. Wow. Just kind of wear them down a little bit. Just kind of wear them down a little bit. With a weapon. And then take them out with your uh, blunt weapon. You know what I'm saying? Wear them down with your uh, ballistic uh, whatever you got. <laughs> or if you're a much better melee player than I am, as, as you can tell that I I, uh, I don't usually do melee. <laughs> I know it's brutal. Brutal to watch. It's brutal to watch it myself. But... Uh... <laughs> so it did not count. They were glowing, as you guys could see. It still did not count, so uh, we'll have to go somewhere else. But that was a couple my lurks there. We get to kill more of these guys like this. Gosh. Let's, um, okay, Jen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch weapons here. And I hope that this um, hand may is not going to be too powerful. Because sometimes I can just one-shot these guys with this. But we'll have to free aim it. And 
and uh, hope for the best. Er, er. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, little buddy over here. <laughs> oh, he gave me something. Thanks. Thanks for that. Give me some sort of disease, some sort. <sighs> what can you do, man? What can you do? His uh, little brother was around the corner here. <laughs> hey, listen, we gotta make these vi these uh, videos interesting because this is like rinse and re rinse and repeat week. Someone said. Oh, there we go. Rinse and repeat week. Oh, he ducked, he ducked. See that, he ducked. Yeah, he ducked. He blinked first, then ducked. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, Stanley Gaster down there, so... Yeah, you know what? One thing at a time, Jim. One thing at a time, because sometimes that Stanley Gaster is not there. He's killing... Our, yeah, he killed our Mylurk. Our sixth Mylurk. Good for him. <laughs> okay. Another Mylurk spot. Right down here, Ohio. River Adventures. Let's go down here. So hopefully we'll have a little better time down here. Oh, yeah. That's a face right there. That only mom could love right there. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. What are you doing? Listen. Don't turn your back to me, okay? You know what's going to happen now. Oh my god, Jim. Ah. There's usually another guy around here. Where's he at? Oh, he's right here. Switch wrap, Jim. It's a fight to the death. Come on, baby. Come on. You got this, Jim. You got this. Keep messing up. Whew. That's only five, guys. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's go down to the river. And, uh... So, one thing good about Mylurks is... Mylurk eggs, okay? So, the little Mylurk hatchlings that come out... They are considered Mylurks as well. Alright, so... Even though there's only going to be a couple Mylurks down here... There we go. So there's our Ferment and Alcoholic Beverage Street for 3. See that? It popped up. That didn't take any time at all, did it? Get them up here. Wow. Okay, switch it up here. Wow. Okay, there we go. What? Who is he talking to? Me? Is he talking to me? I hope he's not talking to me. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh. Don't forget the switch, Jim. More hit. There we go. Down. Down he goes. Oh! How you doing? How you doing there, little buddy? Redemption, he says. Redemption. Oh. I almost did it again. There we go. Good stuff. So he came to me that time. That's awesome. Good for him. <laughs> okay. That was weird. See that over there? I don't know what that was about. Okay, so. You got these Mylark eggs here. And uh, usually they explode. And little hatchlings will come out of them, okay? So there's our hatchlings. See that? See how he counted? Just a little how just a little hatchling. Wait for him to pop out at you. I'm gonna bat some. Because <laughs> I'm way better in vats, you guys know that. 
Oh, we actually picked that one up. Oh, wow. Might be able to get this done. Hey, what happened? Where's uh, where did he go? Hidden. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go down here for some more eggs. See, you shouldn't have said anything, Jim. That's what happens. You jinxed us. You jinxed us. See. There we go. All right. We just need. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, there he is. There. Hi. Good stuff. Good. Good. This. This. Okay. I'm happy now. I'm happy. Get down, you. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably enjoying this, right? He's just like, Jem doesn't use uh, melee weapons. Oh, just one more. Perfect. Oh, of course you take the egg, Jim. There we go. Kill my lurk with a blunt weapon. 15 for 15. Yeah, baby. Epic. Epic score. 500. Love it. Love it. So just like that, guys. <laughs> so if you're not a melee player like myself and... Uh, you can't be bothered to <laughs> switch your uh, perk cards around. Just wear them down a little bit with, uh, you know, your usual weapon. And then switch over. Quick switch, I call it. And um, that way there you can uh, finish finish them off. You know what I mean? Just like what I did. <laughs> you, you guys probably do a lot better than me. Yeah, let's put this thing away. I'm sick of looking at it. Um, <laughs> let's put our good old usuals on. Um, lock and load, Jim. I think we get one more. So you guys saw that uh, fermented alcoholic beverage pop up, so that's pretty awesome. Took no time at all, eh? No time. Uh, kill glowing creature one. Perfect. So, um, glowing my lurks obviously don't count. For whatever reason. Don't know why. But, uh, let's go to good old faithful glowing creatures. Good old Mananga. Let's go ahead over here fast travel over there. So we're here in good old Monadga. You guys have uh, come here with me quite a bit. And uh, we're here to kill a uh, glowing creature in the form of a mole miner. So glowing creatures, anything but a human, robot, and a glowing mylark apparently. <laughs> But uh, this place has about 10 or 12 uh, mole miners in it. And usually half of them are glowing. Okay? Every time. Come on, buddy. Come on, bad boy. Come on. You have a big limp there. There we go. Kill glowing creature one for one in the form of a mole miner. Perfect. There you guys go. This guy's got a hairbrush on him, you imagine? Yeah, so there's another cat down there. As I said, half of these guys are usually glowing, so a real good spot for glowing creatures right here, good old Monaga. I have several videos showing you some other locations as well for glowing creatures, but uh, we are done. We are done just like that, guys. Uh, the epic one took us a little bit longer, but we had a fun time doing it, right? Learned a little bit at the same time. <laughs> there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind138. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.